<laughs> What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, a.k.a. That Heifer, a.k.a. He be wearing man shit. <laughs> <laughs> the other host is... Goose, babe. How y'all doing? Hey. If this is your first time just tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. If you have been here from the beginning, we appreciate it. If you left and if you came and left and came back, we appreciate that we too. Love we love you yeah, still. Love yeah. you still. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a weekly podcast that we do. It's about, you know, all things man. Manhood, mm-hmm. fatherhood, brotherhood, husbandhood. Um, and instead of going to an article, looking it up, or hearing it from people that don't that aren't men, let us tell it. Come holler at your boy. Come holler at it. Hear it from the horse's mouth. Yeah. Get it from the watering hole. Woo. <laughs> So this week, y'all, we're going to start off with another segment. Um, we've done this segment before. It turned out pretty good. Uh, moment of transparency. Yeah. Moment of transparency. Uh, you, want, you want to go or you want me to go? I'll go right. first. Um, hanging around all of these content creators, you know, um, you feel like, well, I feel like um, – I'm not doing anything or I'm not moving fast enough, you know? So um, my moment of transparency came when I realized that most of the content creators I'm hanging around have been doing it for 10, 15, 20 plus years. I mean, easy, you know what I'm saying? So uh, me feeling like I'm moving slow. Nope. I'm moving at my own pace. I got to give it time and um, yeah, I got to run my own race. So, yeah, that was my moment of transparency because I really was comparing myself Mm -hmm. to uh, OGs in the game. Like, man, these folk been putting in stupid amount of work. Right. Who am I to feel like I should get as many views or as much recognition as the next next person? So, uh, just running my race, keep it consistent, and – compete with myself basically because it's just me you know what i'm saying that's who i need to compete with so just get better and better each day and yeah yeah and it's uh you doing something different from them too tenfold yes like I you were com- on a completely different trajectory than what they on that's what i had to realize like yeah. it's like i'm not kev i'm not tony like i don't get on and just you know tell jokes i ain't True. always got to do something funny Mine just needs to come from me and my real life experiences if that's what I want to put out. Yeah, because this is a totally new field for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I shoot. Since day one, I've been working with my hands. I've never stepped in right. front of a camera like this on, on this level. So, yeah, it's, yeah, I am coming from a totally different. And now you got area. a podcast. Now I got a podcast. God dang. Mm-hmm. Look how it happens. How would it say? Look how it works. That's how that work. <laughs> yep, that's, that's how, that's that, how work. that work. Damn it. Goose. <laughs> um, so my moment is uh, actually, it, this is a whole train of thought, and this is me being completely transparent with y'all. So went to Cancun f- for a wedding uh, this past weekend. About you, that time y'all see this, it w- this would have been, what, three weeks ago, I think? Yep. Um, yeah, three. it's how far it's, we ahead on these. Um and while I was over there, it's probably from the salty food. I don't know what it was. Anyway, my uh, hands, it, I could, couldn't tell it was swelling. My hands were swelling, but I noticed when I was taking my ring off and on, I was like, I can't get it off and on. And a couple of times I did it, forced it, uh, uh, taking it off and then forced it, t- putting it back on. That then caused my ring finger to swell up. Mm. So I was like, I'm going to go, I need to probably go like a couple of days, maybe a week without wearing it. And I didn't think nothing of it. And then while we were sitting out there right before we started, I had the thought of, Oh, I probably need to address that because somebody gonna get on there and be like, "He ain't even why ain't he wearing his wedding ring?" Then I would thought to myself, "I ain't gonna address that. I ain't gonna say nothing about my ring because it ain't nobody's business. Like, who cares?" True. On that same thought process <laughs> <laughs> about me not caring what people say, I don't, um, and that's why that's one of the reasons why I'm here where I am now because people liked the straightforward. I'm gonna be me. The, uh, you know, take it or leave it. Take me or leave me. Being blunt. Being blunt. Mm-hmm. Um, with that said, because we've been, you know, trying to uh, engage with everybody in the comments and everything. I told y'all, I took a hiatus. I stopped looking at comments years ago. 
Uh, but we got this going. And we started, you know, of course, we're looking in the comments. We're trying to be engaged with y'all. Hopefully, y'all seeing our, you know, us responding and everything. Um, and I know this is a couple episodes, you know, we was talking about the word heifer. That ain't going nowhere, okay? <laughs> if if me, by, by me saying the word heifer offends Ooh. anybody, just by hearing the word heifer, if you are affected by that, if you're too sensitive for that, then I'm the wrong person to be listening to or watching. Mm-hmm. Because that's one of the least heifer to me is like the cuss word hell or damn. You can say it on regular TV. <laughs> you know you can say a lot of <laughs> words on TV, but I hear I'm what talking you're about NBC. Like you ain't gonna see. Uh, it's like ah, oh, damn Carol. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Damn heifer. That ain't gonna get no. Uh, that ain't gonna get no R rating. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that's far true. worse that could be said. And like I said, I ain't addressed nobody out there. It's like the kids. <laughs> the, the story I was telling about the kids in the back. Yep. And the kids in the middle that thought I was talking to them, mm-hmm. if you're affected by heifer, guess what? I'm not talking to you. My mm-hmm. heifers, the ones that call me heifer, the ones I call heifer, that's what I'm talking to. And don't be so goddamn sensitive, y'all. That's like, really? Over something like that? I ain't saying nothing. I mean, you was, I'm a little you, you was singing hoes the other week. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one to try to call me out. I'm like, hold up. What are you saying? You I'm got just some saying. hoes in different areas. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson. You but won't, anyway, you won't hear that coming. Anyway, out of my mind. I don't aim to offend anybody, <laughs> but if somebody's offended by something I say in a playful manner, then I, you know, I'm not gonna be apologizing to nobody. Uh, I am who I am, and that's why I'm here because I am who I am. That's why people love yeah. me. That's why people hate me. Uh, some people take some a while to warm up to me. Then once they warm up, they see I'm actually a nice guy. But I'm gonna be who I'm gonna be. Yeah, because if folk ain't hating you, you ain't doing something right. Yeah, you know that's a, yeah, that's how I look at it. Got some you know haters I mean? there. Um, and I, that's going. something I, I never aimed to <clears throat> please or satisfy anybody's uh, expectations of me. It's just like I'm me. Yeah. Some people see me as this great loving person. So other people don't. Either way, I'm on. Well, it was one of the. I don't know who who was this. I think it was like a first lady or something. She said, "What you think about me is none of my business." Oh, something like that. Anyway. Whoever she uh, is, that's true. With all of that said, I do yeah. appreciate everybody coming out here, uh, watching us week to week, commenting and everything. I appreciate the, the agreements. <laughs> I appreciate the disagreements. Just do it respectfully, like I've said in the past. Um, but, yeah, that's my moment of transparency. I'm still me, whether on me and Angel's platform or whether on me and Goose's platform or whether on another platform. I'm still going to be me. True. I Different can, toilet, can, same shh. <laughs> I can I, I agree with that moment of transparency. Yeah. Yeah. Um He disagrees with Heifer, so I texted to him once a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see I'm over here like okay. like Heifer. But he gonna be him, you know. I can't help him. You know. No, nah, if not if him being my friend, if he was like honestly truly offended by yeah, that, I, I would true. never do that. Yeah. Like but if I'm just all. yeah, like I said. <laughs> For the kids in we the middle, the and I'm talking to the people outside, it's like I wasn't talking to you. Move over, you know. Yeah. Y'all also, out there. <laughs> I also want to say appreciate the comments too. I haven't really came across any ignorant comments yet. Most of them are it's, are motivating and yeah, suggest suggestional suggestive, comments. Suggest, I can't even say. Did it I now. make that suggestive? Word up? Anyway, yeah. That's yeah. usually how the comments go. Yeah. It's I usually love the ninety comments. literally ninety nine percent of the comments will be positive, be great. And I try to when I'm going down and I'm, you know, responding to people, um, you know, I try to res- I can't respond to all of them. It's a lot, but I appreciate the engagement. That's what's important really, is yep. the engagement. So we appreciate y'all. And trust me, I'm trying to go down through I'm trying to and what's funny is on my phones, my uh uh Profile. The thing that I'm under phones? is is not my. It's not Tanksley TV. It's under Marcus Tanksley, like the one that they make you get when you get a YouTube oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So that's why a lot of times I'm on my phone and this is like I want to be responding, but I don't want it to come up as a different account. I want it to be under Tanksley TV, so y'all know it's actually us. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> well, my comment is under it. my name. You you gonna see? <laughs> it's gonna say Greg Goose Bear. But mine says Marcus Tanksley, but that ain't Tanksley TV. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Because oh. I wanted to be under the platform. Okay. That, but at least when I respond, I wanted to be under the platform that people uh, are responding to. Okay. So you could probably do it on uh, where the upload is. I, 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 I yeah. do it under my Not name. Not that you got to, but 
Um, Keep it but yeah, so that's how the comments work, and that's why I pulled away years ago because it's like you see all these positive things, and it's like, oh yeah, thank you, you liking, you responding back. But the one that sticks out oh, is that yeah. negative one, and I and that again, that's something that I haven't learned to. Uh, I've, I've gotten a whole lot better at it. Don't get me wrong. Used to I clap back at any and everybody. Most of them, if I see run across any, I'll ignore them. A lot of times, y'all will, you know, the 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 tank riders, the whoever your clan is. You got a you got. Do I have a clan? Yeah, you got a clan. You got a following. Um, the they they'll, they'll come up with a name for themselves. My crew came up with tank riders and helpers. So my helpers and my tank riders. I'm. Uh, I'm it's goose, but the only thing it's a flock, right? But you can't. I don't want no flock because it's like the 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 cult type yeah. of situation. So or the, my the, flock. Now hold on, is a flock or is a or is it a clan? A, what is it with goose? Geese? They, they're all geese. It's it's all like uh, it's, I didn't know a group of frogs is called a squadron. <laughs> I didn't know that. So a group of frogs is called a squadron. The scientific name for it is squadron. Really? Yeah. Uh, um, so I don't know. I think I thought it was called flock. Of, I don't know if it's called flock or not with geese. A group of geese. They're called a gaggle. <laughs> a gaggle. <laughs> All these gaggles. All these, that's how you. Say, that's how you pronounce that. Gaggle? Yeah. <laughs> it's called. It's spelled G A G G L E. Gaggle. Uh, All these gagglers. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but um. <laughs> anyway, so a lot of times y'all will clap back at any negative comment, which is not needed, but appreciated, even if y'all want, if that's what y'all want to do. Anyway, regardless, I appreciate yeah. the engagement, whether it's good or bad. I like the discussion. I like the debates. Um, So we appreciate that. We just want to put that out there that I am trying to get down and start looking at comments more and more. Uh, But it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. By the time I do Instagram and uh, Facebook, and which I don't be responding on Facebook, it's hard for me to get all these. <laughs> Facebook is like the forgotten child that I need to get better at. Uh, but Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, even TikTok, it's it's it's, it's a lot. But that's uh, part of the job, so I'm gonna try to get better at it. Yeah, I definitely need to get better at it. Um, yeah, it's just YouTube for me, and I was reading them yesterday, and it was like. Golly, this is to read them and then give a a decent answer. Yeah, because you just can't respond. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got well, a lot, it's um. I think a lot of them, a lot of most people understand. It's like I think they appreciate just being acknowledged. Yeah. Um. And y'all know, like, if I'm see the comment, if I just give it a thumbs up, it's like I did see it. I. Mm. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of y'all, or it's a million of not a million. I wish it was a million. But it's like hundreds of y'all, thousands of y'all, and like one of us, you know, one goose and one tank. So it's um, just by giving it a thumbs up, we appreciate it. Even if I didn't give it a thumbs up, don't mean I didn't see it. Like I said, a lot of times on my phone, I'm trying to figure out how to switch over that main account to uh, be, how to log into Tanksley TV with that because it ain't letting me doing it, do it for some reason. Yeah. Um, but anyway, moving on. That was moment of transparency. Uh, I just wanted to clear it up to make sure that the heifers know that, that I'm going to still be calling them heifers. That was on his chest. And if the heifers, do anybody that ain't a heifer, I ain't talking to you. I'm just talking to the heifers. Had to get it off his chest. Yeah, get it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this week, uh, we are going to cover, I know some of y'all need it. Some of y'all need it. Some of y'all need to tune in. Some of y'all going to have to send this to somebody. Man. All right. We're going to talk about hygiene. You stanky little booty boys, you stanky little booty girls. I thought you was gonna say hoes. <laughs> nah, see, I learned my lesson. I know <laughs> where I know how to come correct. You uh, stanky little boys. Oh, stanky booty little boys. <laughs> you stanky uh, little booty girls. Say, oh, stanky booty little boys. <laughs> 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 um, so no, we we want to talk about hygiene because that's one of the things. It's um, from my, from what I hear from my homegirls. Ever since high school, mm. is dudes be stinking, man. Like, and I, I it, it, it was, it wasn't me. All right, I kept on some cologne, some deodorant, <laughs> but dudes be stinking. Yeah, I might have had a little situation myself. 
but see, I, I corrected it. I listened and I yeah. I paid attention yeah. to what was I'm sure going I've on. Had, I'm sure I've had some situations, you know, you eat breakfast and don't throw some gum in your mouth or something. Breath, breath be stinking, but that's everybody. everybody's breath be stinking sometimes. Ooh. Especially when you get hungry. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hunger breath be on another. I be like, whoo, boy, you hungry, ain't you? <laughs> when somebody's consistent, though, with that, that halitosis type smell, Come on, brother or sister. You got to get it checked out. I know you. Well, I don't know if you, because they say if you're sitting long enough, you stop smelling it. So Yeah. Uh, but you got to smell it, because I be smelling it. There's some folk walking around with that bad tooth back there. Oh, that rotten tooth. That rotten tooth. Yeah. And they just, at the, ah, at ah, what's up, boy? At and you decay. like, <laughs> ah. make, that, <laughs> make that Tony Baker face. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> and Street Fighter Death uh, uh, defeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let me let me start on uh, mouth, your teeth hygiene. Um, so I had braces growing up, and having braces, man, you're forced to always clean your teeth because you have braces, and literally any and everything is gonna get stuck inside those little wires or whatever so after getting uh the braces taken off i just kept that up right but finding flossing and finding i mean chunks of food back in your mouth that you that your toothbrush doesn't get mm -hmm. all right that's what y'all need to understand your toothbrush does not get between your teeth all right so um Flossing is a must. So floss everything, every gap you got in your mouth, floss. I don't care if you can fit your finger through your gap. Put some floss in there and scrape whatever it is because the buildup mm -hmm. is serious. Yeah. And your mouth will be very foul, okay? Um, this goes for you young ladies as well because uh, – how can I put this? Um, when you do certain things, you know, lick, 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 lick my lollipop and the hag. Yeah, fellas too. That's yeah, it does. Go when you're performing them. oral sex, okay, there we go. Let's just go ahead and say it. <laughs> when you're when you're when you're performing oral sex, because you're gonna come out with some slang. <laughs> <laughs> when you're licking the lollipop, that. Smells. If it smells in your mouth, it's gonna smell down there, and it's very unattractive. And if if you're wondering why your man doesn't like you doing it, that might be a reason why. Um, very off-putting. So um, make sure you get your get your, get the back of them teeth, the front, everywhere in your mouth with the floss. This is seriously do it. Floss every day. Floss three times a day. Try to floss every time you eat. I mean, I'm aiming high for that, so you can probably hit the low bar <laughs> like one time a day, but aim for three to four times a day, you know, because that food, man, it 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 rots in your mouth. Yeah, especially it, meat. It's stinks. You got some meat in your mouth. It's like you leave some meat out and going bad. Yeah. That smell going, it's that, uh, yeah. It stink bad, you know. Yeah. You I, got something? I, um. Cause I used to, uh, when I was a little young, young kid, probably, I don't know, two, three, I used to suck my thumb. Mm. Right. So finally stopped doing that. And that, you know, caused my two front teeth to like, yeah, I, like, like you used to buck. Like I used uh -huh. to, my sister, cousin, everybody used to talk about Mr. me. Ed. Call me Buck, Bucky O'Hare. You remember that cartoon? Nah, I ain't that old. Man, you ain't number two <laughs> years young. Shut up. <laughs> Anyway, they used to talk Bucky about my teeth, you know, hair. teeth, my two front teeth. I never had braces. I think my head finally grew into them, but I already had big teeth anyway. Mm. So knowing that, you know, growing up being self-conscious about my mouth, my, uh, you know, like I said, cousins always talked about me and stuff. So I was always self-conscious. So I would always brush the hell out of my teeth. Mm. Like, and even going after going to the dentist, I remember, um, I don't know, one of those times I went to the dentist, and he was showing, I was like, dang, it makes sense of how your teeth, people brush their teeth in 2D, 
a lot of people brush their teeth in 2D, I mean they just get the front, mm. you know, maybe the, the, the top and go on about their business. I'm like, no, your teeth, you need to brush the side, the bottom, and the other side. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's how I would start to brush my teeth is in, I do the top quarter, all of that, do the bottom quarter, all of that, back, get you know, in and out the back side of the front teeth, top mm-hmm. and bottom. Um, so that was one thing I was always self conscious about because people were like, Oh, you did you have braces? People ask me all the time, Did you have braces or you do teeth whitening? I ain't did none of that. I'm just an aggressive, probably an unhealthy aggressive brusher. Um, because one of my homegirls at dentist, she was like, You're too hard on you. <laughs> you be brushing too long and too hard. Like I, it's like a five, ten minute thing for me. I'm just yeah. brushing. Yeah, I repaste, go at it again. Oh man, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely not a good thing. I need to dial back on that. But at this point, it's forced to have it. I, I just start brushing my teeth, and I walk around and start getting other stuff ready. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, but it's definitely important. It's uh, And if you know somebody, just let them know. If somebody breath, hey, you might want you on some gum, and, you know, floss, handle it. You know what I'm saying? We uh, all have that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we all have those friends that have that issue. Just let them know. Yeah, and I some mean, people, you know, it might be, it might be a condition that they don't know about yet. Um, yeah, and so, some folk. Coffee. Yeah, they don't be knowing. They don't understand that that sticks, that the halitosis or whatever's going on sticks in their mouth as 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 well as the coffee. Yeah. Coffee does um, wonders to your to your mouth in a yeah. bad way. Unless you just a avid coffee drinker and you love the smell of coffee on other people's breath, I guess that's... But it don't smell like coffee when coming off somebody's breath, though. That's true. That's to me, true. it don't. It don't smell like coffee. It's like, what? I can tell coffee did this, but it don't smell like coffee, though, because I like smell of coffee. But somebody that drinks coffee all the time and smells it all the time on people's breath, it might... They, Hmm, that's hazelnut. <laughs> Morning brew. Oh, that's, that's outstanding. So uh, they might. Yeah. I, I'm not sure how you, how you, how a avid coffee drinker smells coffee. But for me, I can't. I used to drink coffee a lot, but now I don't because someone gave me a comment. I don't like, and I'm like, you know what? I think I smelled mm-hmm. that on somebody else, yeah. and I'm like. Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to put you through that. I had a similar that. situation. I had, uh, I don't know, it was like, it was after high school, probably in college. Um, I started getting, uh, I, I have a, I used to have a toothpick every now and then. Mm-hmm. And this girl that I was trying to talk to, she was just like, I don't like what that toothbrush, that toothpick be doing to you now. I was what? like, duly noted. So then after that, I started playing, paying real close attention to like, yeah, I was making, you know, Brushing, even, yeah. I mean, my brushing was already excessive, but like brushing the tongue, roof of my mouth, being careful, you know, when I'm going up talking to people, you know, keep some mints in the car and stuff. Yeah, and that's yeah. when it, that's when I started getting compliments from the young ladies of, you know what, you are, you we'll get on the other everything else later on. It's yeah. like, your breath always smell good. You know, you, you got rid well, especially when I started getting, you got some pretty teeth. Hey. That's what changed everything for me. I know, like, young boys in middle school and middle high school yeah, yeah. may not care, but once they especially get around some girls they don't know and get compliments, it's like, oh, okay, I see I see what it is now. That's how I was selling merch at the merch table. Mm-hmm. Hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got in trouble, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get off of that. Uh, he was talking about <laughs> tongue, your tongue. Yeah. Man, brush your tongue. Yeah. Clean your tongue. As they far- say Fall back as you want to. I brush my tongue. I do. But they I keep seeing these things you're not supposed to brush your tongue. I'm like, but it works. No. Because if you brush your teeth and go without brushing your tongue, it ain't gonna smell like you brush your teeth. Exactly. Roof of your mouth, I brush the roof of my mouth, yeah. I brush my tongue. Yes. Get your tongue, go as far back as you possibly gag. can. Yeah, gag. <laughs> as far as far back as you can. Get on back there. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you out. And Listerine and, or and, mouthwash. Yes. And my bad, girl. All of this uh, was solved for me and Tank with the two toothpick because a friend said something. Friends, tell your oh, friend. Oh, you too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, something's going on now. <laughs> and I was like, really? Really? I'm like, you know, I've been having an issue back here, but I get okay. Let me mm-hmm. go check it out. Now, 
I have this is another thing. Um uh eating ice or eating hard candies biting down on would tear your teeth up. So I got a few missing mm. back here because it I ain't know that. Crush. I figured hard candy. I didn't know ice would do it. Yeah, ice would do it too. Depending on how your teeth are shaped, mm -hmm. some people have their teeth, are, you know, on top, they're just flat, yeah. right? But see, mine are, uh, they have valleys, creaking valleys. So when the ice hits it at a certain angle or something hard hits it, it'll chip the whole mm -hmm. tooth off. So to eliminate all of that, I just stopped eating Jolly Ranchers. I don't touch them at all. No, that's right. You do be having sweet too. Yeah, man. I, I love forgot sweets. about that. And I love sweets. So um, Jolly Ranchers, ice, whatever else, those blow pops that you bite, man, I don't, I don't touch them. And you shouldn't touch them either if you got some issues going on with your mouth. This will eliminate some issues, but, um, yeah, be easy on them hard candies. Brush your tongue and floss. Four times, five times a day. Because I know some of y'all just going, yeah. This is it's got some grown folks out here still don't do that. We're going to move on <clears throat> yeah. to the main body. Uh, I, I, I'm speaking for the fellas. Man, it's not good. Y'all need to make sure y'all. I know it, seem, it might seem, I don't, you got me questioning this uh, <laughs> this episode now. But, do, you know, people be like, don't everybody do this? No, fellas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man. Men have women too, but I'm speaking for the fellow. We're going to get on these women too. Men be having body odor, okay? You ain't got to do nothing half the time. You will have a body odor. Yep. One one of the compliments, one anybody that know me, especially my wife, she will say, I'm one of the few guys that she's ever known that never has an odor. I always smell good because I pay attention to that. When I wash my clothes, I use detergent that smells good. Make sure when I fold everything, clothes, when I pull them out, they smell good. When I put on clothes, I'm usually freshly out the shower. But the, literally, but the, at the end of the day, when I take my socks and shoes off, my socks smell like soap, lotion, and the uh, 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 detergent. Like it's, it's like I feel like it's important. That, granted, everybody's body's different. Like my feet don't sweat. A lot of people, or I guess over time they will, but my feet really don't sweat. Some people have sweaty feet. Mm -hmm. Some people produce, uh, you know, different odors. The body produces different odors. Know what that is, and make sure you can keep a fresh layer of skin on mask that odor if you got a body odor i know people with body odors and i don't smell any inclination that they are trying to cover it up mainly for these fellas man men yeah y'all be tripping y'all man men be tripping but stop using body wash tripping hard use soap and rags and yes to scrub your body stop grabbing the soap bar and just Doing this no, and then rinsing off. You got to off. follow up with a rag. Yeah, man. Get that rag. That rag gonna get the dead skin off. It's gonna get the dirt off. Yeah. That's why I don't like. I I tried the body washes. This is way back, way back. It's this is probably in college. I tried the body washes. I mm. said I'm gonna see what these body washes is about. I had white <laughs> towels. Yeah. Get out the shower, drying off. I'm like. This thing didn't do nothing. Nothing. Towels I'm over here dirty. still. Yes. Yeah. That's a big indicator. That's why I like white towels. I'm like, I need proof. If I, if I could wipe off something brand, hey, I need to jump back in here. Oh, man. It's like, yeah, man, colognes. Get, all colognes don't cost $80, $90, $150, two, $300. You can get some cheap cologne just to throw on. It ain't Just because it's cheap don't mean it smell cheap. You That's know true. But just don't put on too much of it. Yeah, man. no, just a squirt. Two squirts, mist it in the air, walk through it. Spray it in the air and then walk through it. Just get you some type of <laughs> something that's good. Look, you're going to thank me once you start doing this. If you already married, you ain't been doing it, your wife might be a little suspicious at first. Like, wow, all of a sudden you smelling good because you wasn't smelling good before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Showing up. Then you can get down there and be like, hey, thank you, Tank. Yeah. Something to get a woman going when, when a man smells good, I'm trying to tell you. Um, yeah. Men... Check yourself, especially your balls. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. We, now, I know what I'm talking about because I got a set of them myself. <laughs> you understand me? Got a set. Wash your balls, man. Uh, I don't know about you because, yeah, obviously I don't know about you. But if you have hair down there, you have to control the growth of the hair. All right? Because mm -hmm. hair holds 
Older. Older. Yeah. Easy. Hoes. Older. Bad, man. Okay? Why you think women get they booties waxed and all that yeah. wax? Because if they don't remove that hair, it's going to smell like what just came up out of there. You feel and it's me? easy to play around down there when you ain't got the force. Yes. If you if you think about that, look, I I, <laughs> I take mine off. Whoosh. Hey, I get a little clipper. It's, it's gone completely. Clean gone. and shaven. Yes, <laughs> because I don't. You know, your your lady might not let you know, but when she's performing oral sex, you know what I'm saying, and your hair is down there, your your booty and your ball hair is there. She smells that. Cause that hair is holding on to it. Oh yeah, she might not be telling you, but she smell it. She smell it, and that's might that might be a reason why she don't like doing it all the time. Because oh snap, yeah, I gotta go smell this this again. Yeah, it's, it's literally sh- again. Come on, it's man. easier to run to run through a manicure yard than it is the jungle. Uh, <laughs> when we we'll run through the jungle, give Perfect us something. Example. Give us something clean to work with. Yeah. Give us something clean and smelling good. And you look bigger something too. Smooth. You move all that hell, man. You look, you be like, why? I don't, <laughs> where all this, where all this inches where, come from? What is it? It's inches. <laughs> I be looking in the mirror like, boy, hey, this is nice. <laughs> be having that Captain Morgan stand. Yeah, uh, hey, <laughs> what's happening? So, sh- shave, shave it, trim it, do whatever you got to do to it, but it needs to be uh, managed so it yeah. can smell like it's supposed to smell. Um, not even, just for you. E, e, yeah, even if you don't want, man, just keep it clean, though. Yeah. Keep you know what I'm saying? Man. Wash and then follow up with another wash. And the same rag, I'm jumping off a little bit, but the same rag you use to wash your balls and your butt, all that with, yeah. you know what? I don't do it. I'm going to just tell you what I do. I don't use the same rag for my butt as for my face. <laughs> okay? I just don't I do it. I just... I saw a, a meme like that. It's like dudes washing a car. He'll yeah. have a rag for the rims. He'll have a rag for the outside of the car. He'll yeah. have a rag, separate rag for the pipes. He'll have a separate rag for the interior. Then it's like me and washing his body. One, <laughs> One rag. Come on, man. Yeah, that rag just got back there and done some things. You need to swap it out. Yeah. Switch it up. And then some and and then women, this goes for you too. And then you were wonder why you end up with these big old warts. <laughs> on your face, <laughs> around your mouth, and all this is that, stuff. Is you that, just wipe boo boo on your lips. <laughs> I don't know how medically or scientifically proven that is. <laughs> you just, you just hey, wipe boo boo on your lips, man. Like, <laughs> Goodness, come on, hold up. <laughs> That's why. That's where it comes from. <laughs> now, now people gonna be. Yeah. The woman got a wart on her nose. She been washing, wiping booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you been wiping your face with your boot booty. That's what you been doing. Think about it though. You take you you're in the bathroom. You take a number two. You wipe clean. Supposedly wipe clean. You all you, don't never you know wipe clean. you know your tissue ain't, no ain't just cleaned it off like that. Then you go. Take a rag. That's what's good about having kids in the house. I use baby wipes. After the first couple wipes, once, you go. Once, the, once the tissue's clean, if I ain't jumping in the shower, I'm baby wiping it up. There we go. I need to start <laughs> using baby wipes. Uh, but you wipe your butt, you take your shower, you you all up in there doing whatever with you're that You're doing rag. it right. Yeah, you all up in there. And then you go you rinse it out or whatever you do. I don't even know if you do that. And then you Wash your face. Scrub your face. Y'all be up just all up in everything. <laughs> Come on. This it, it it don't seem it don't seem right. You just not Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. You wouldn't like you said, you, you wouldn't take the same rag that you cleaned your outside of your car with. You wouldn't clean the inside of your car with that rag because that rag is going to smell mm-hmm. like the dirt from outside. And that rag still got the dirt from outside on it. Yeah. I know some of y'all, your, your rags, and you, woo, that thing <laughs> stink. <laughs> so you can't tell me the rag is just freshly clean now. The, my face rags have really have no smell. You you don't even smell. The only thing you smell is whatever soap I used for it. But that body rag. Your body rag be smelling? Oh, yeah, my body rag be foul. What's wrong with your body, man? Woo. <laughs> 
I sweat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I clean myself. That's evidence. That's where the stank go. It's no longer on me. It's on the rag. <laughs> that's where it is. That's, that's, you look at that. Look at that stank over there. It ain't, no ain't on me no more. It's on the rag. I'm telling you. So uh, have a booty rag and have a face rag or yeah. a body rag and have a face rag. Don't be. Yeah. It, yeah. For me. With oh, with hygiene man. and all that, it only it only took one or two compliments for me to like start focusing and making sure, mm. you know what I'm saying? It's like making sure I was smelling good and stuff. Other thing, like well, I mentioned feet earlier. Oh, hold yeah. up, hold up. I've been seeing these uh, memes. I don't know. T- people asking these questions. You know, they do a little thing where they interview people in the public mm. about people washing their legs. What? Like apparently, there's a lot of people that will get in the shower and they will wash their upper body and then they just rinse off. They don't wash like the bottom half of their legs or anything. Hmm. I didn't know I didn't know people actually that I'm like if you in the shower yeah. you might as well yeah. get get it get it out. That's I get all. I get my feet in between each toe. <laughs> I wash everything. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you like I hit my feet. I hit my legs. Um with the with with in between each toe, I don't hit them all the time. No, you I, do, I do it every time. You get in there, and hack, hack. <laughs> hit the other side, <laughs> you know, start rinsing off, and then there, then the important areas, I I, I lather up one more time and just hit yeah. all that again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the but legs is is a is a like people say oh, natural. What, what? It's it's second nature to me. Just like, yeah, it's like you hit your legs. I, I didn't know people didn't do that. Oh. Like apparently, just like a lot of people don't use rags. Yeah, true. I've I've seen I've I've seen this a lot now on on this ear, on here, the TikTok. Be yeah, telling you, on yeah, this the, here, the, TikTok. The, the, the TikTok be telling you. One girl said, "I'm fresh out the shower three days ago. Three days ago. You ago. ain't fresh out no goddamn shower. That's <sighs> not three days. Three days. Three. Think of." Look, to me, I feel like if I'm sitting around the house, I get dirtier quicker than being out. Because if you're sitting around the house, you're literally just sitting around the house. Like, even if you're going out, I know that's when you get dirty. You know, yeah. just from being outside, you know, dirt and everything, and just walking around, building up older sweating. But three days. Yeah. I've, I've sat around the house a whole day inside, Doing just whatever, and at the end of the night, it's I go take a shower. Yeah. Uh, but I've noticed too when that happens, you know. Wow, you been you I'm you stink, <laughs> and you ain't did nothing. <laughs> Cause sometimes when I sit around the house and the wife there, and you know, like, hey, let me get some of that. <laughs> she was like, what? Go take a shower. I'm like. Oh damn, I do stink. <laughs> but I ain't did, I ain't did nothing. nothing. Yeah. So imagine this girl three days going to work, doing whatever she's doing. For That's what I'm three saying. At the very least, she was just in the house, and you still days. gonna stink. You still gonna smell. See, that's that's where COVID came from. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all jive turkeys. Wuhan didn't have nothing to do. You jive turkeys out here. Say jive turkey. Well, that's better than saying the word you have us out here done. <laughs> they kicked you off j- a <laughs> pandemic by not cleaning. <laughs> That's what turkeys. it is. You jive turkeys. That's what, exactly. Yeah. COVID came from y'all son of a guns not washing your bodies for three days or wash. Man, your That's hair. Great. I know your hair is stupid. I man, if I all wash well, there, my hey, beard, there are. Yeah. See. That's Man. that's what that's what spreading COVID. Your dirty booty little girl. That's nasty. Yeah, that is nasty. Yeah, that, again, that's a, that's the thing. Like I'm thinking, Angel asked me one day. She, she was like, "You wash your legs." She probably single and got no. She ain't got can't have nothing. All right, that is. But uh, now Angel asked me. She was yeah. like, "You wash your legs," and I was like, "What you t- like when? Like what? Do you, I I didn't even I couldn't even register what she was saying." And then she showed me. I don't know if it was a video article or whatever. It was like a lot of people don't be washing. Their legs, I'm like, that's nasty. Hmm. I wash my leg. 
Just like that thing that came out, like it was a lot of the celebrities, the way he takes oh, celebrities was yeah, like, yeah. don't give their kids a bath every day. I'm like, how? Yeah. They, it's a cultural thing. It's something they know that we don't. It must be the fluoride in the water and they trying to reduce the fluoride. That might be. That nah, might I think be. it's something that we know that they don't. Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, because hey, some of them, be, they be smelling. That's true. They got a smell to them. Yeah. Yeah. Wash your bodies, man, every day, okay? Yeah. Once a day is fine. If you get but, up in the morning and do it, fine. If you do it at night, fine. If you do it both times of the day, great. Yeah, I knew a dude, uh, actually one of my brother, ex-brother-in-laws, he would twice a day, every day. He was in, he was a mason. Mm. So he would take a shower before bed, get up and take another shower and then go to work. Yeah. You Especially for men, they have these labor-intensive jobs, man. I uh, was a maintenance man. I was a gas man. I worked at a um, uh, at the Georgia World Congress Center. It's a convention center, and it's like three million square feet. And I'd be on the roof, changing filters on these big commercial commercial units. So I go home, wash up, think mm-hmm. everything clean. Might go wipe my nose. Man, so much dust and everything yeah. will be off in my nose. And I'm like, if yeah. that's in my nose, I know everywhere yeah, else. In your ears. Yeah. That's another thing. Definitely your, ears, get your ears. Behind your ears, everything is just, you get dirty. You get dirty, man. No matter what you do, you're dirty. I don't care who you are. Yes, man. You getting dirty. My daddy, he told me, was, I don't know if he was messing with me if he was serious. I think this was. I don't know if it was middle school, high school. He said, if you ever with a girl, mm. it must be high school because he wouldn't have had this conversation with me in middle school. He said, if you ever with a girl, he said, put your arm around her. And when you do, just kind of rub behind rub behind the ear a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you can, smell your finger. If, it's, if it stinks, she ain't clean. <laughs> he Man. said, but if she don't wash behind her ear, she ain't washing other things. <laughs> yeah, I made that mistake and stuck my finger all the places. And I, he, dang. <laughs> it caught me. Hey, yeah, where, smell, uh, smell that smell. Yeah, but uh, back to what I was saying about the colognes. Like for real, you can get you some some colognes and like I know it's a little boutique. Uh, actually, it ain't far. It's down the street. He's had he has everything. Mm. Like stuff you can't find in the malls. Stuff they don't even see. He got some all the way from stuff that's nine hundred dollars, a thousand dollars a bottle to the cheap stuff. Yeah, like ten dollars a bottle. He got everything in there. And I'm telling you, I go in there, I'll find me some, a lot of stuff, most people, I know a lot of the stuff I haven't even heard of, a lot of it I have. Like he's got everything, Burberry, he got everything in there. Mm. But I'll go in there, I'll find me some $15, $20 colognes. Mm. I'll get me two, three of them and just have, a, I basically have a collection of cologne at the house. I got my, like the more expensive stuff, the Dolce & Gabbana, the mm-hmm. East St. Laurent, I got all that stuff. Got uh, the men's Chanel, Gucci. Um, but also, but that stuff is stuff I rarely wear. Yeah. The daily stuff I put on is just be something that ain't nobody heard of. I just, tss, tss, and I'll, oh, that smells good. What is that? You always smell good. And it's it's easy. It's an easy thing. Yeah. I ain't doing eight, nine, ten sprays. I'm doing two, three sprays in the air. I walk through it just to get a, a, a fragrance on you yeah. and not just walk around with the smell of deodorant battling body odor. Yeah. Because that's the thing. You you smell your shirt that's how that's the smell people are smelling most of the time yeah um yeah man you got to yeah yeah and the, what's, and and with the and with the cologne it doesn't have to be that strong punch nah, in the face it don't it could be a soft smelling situation yeah and just go with that i go with the fresh fragrances something that has a fresh smell to it mm the citrus um, yeah, more citrus. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You was talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. More, uh, what is it? Citrus and uh, flowers. Yep. Like that's the the um not that it smells like flowers, but that's the notes. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I like those, man. They just a couple just walk through that mist or hit the clothes a little bit. Go on about mm-hmm. my day. I always hit the forearm. You know, that's exposed. Mm-hmm. But yeah, fellas, make sure y'all yeah do that, ladies. Now, now ladies, y'all really don't have no excuses. But y'all got five, six hours of stuff to make you smell good. Every day. Angel got stuff in the shower. All day. Oils. 
I hate taking a shower after Angel. About to slip. Man, <laughs> she, right now she's got this uh, oil, this, uh, I don't know, this is all the stuff. Of course, it smells wonderful, but she mm. puts it on. So, of course, it leaves her skin feeling all silky and smooth. Yeah. But now that goddamn feeling is on the, you know, we got the two heads on uh, the shower. So, the one you can take off. So, she rinses off with that. <laughs> so, then I get in and touch it. And this thing, to me, it feels greasy. Mm. So what I got to do to clean That's it off? Nasty. I got to lather up my hand. Yeah. Now I'm in there jacking off the goddamn shower head, <laughs> trying to clean it. So I was fussing at her about it. Uh, so she sees me doing it. Jacking off. And this fool said, yeah, "That's pissed me off." <laughs> she sees me clean it off. She said, mm -mm, "See, you got to twist. You got to twist your wrist." <laughs> uh, I was like, like she can kiss my uh, on that one. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, hey, at least she used it. Something. Yeah, but she like, like that's what I'm saying. She and that's just one of the things she's got like. Hundreds of these things that she could just put in the shower and put on. Women like feeling like silky and moisturized. I like my skin to feel like it's Tupperware, like it's squeaky clean. I don't want no slimy feel. It, to me, it yeah. feels slimy. Yeah, I don't like yeah, that. Yeah. I, I want to feel clean, clean, and then I apply whatever after that. Hey, and lotion, fellas. Yes, men. But you know how you? Uh, I love just like bearing, bearing, bearing. How you say berry, berry, bearing. I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm saying I'm saying bury like I buried the body, uh -huh. but in burying, burying, burying. It depends on what you're trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying to say I buried my face into my wife's. Oh, naked. you love burying, Bur burying. burying. It don't. Yeah, nah, that don't even make the none of the words make sense. Now. We don't say it too many times. Burying. Uh huh. I like. You know what? You love to smother yourself. Yes, there we go. I love to smother myself like right in this area in my in wife. The neck. In the neck and just mm -hmm. ah, cause yeah. she just be smelling so good. You they know? Do. Man, imagine you smelling that good and your wife just wants to Yeah. Or your girl Think or whoever. About that. Just, yes. Think about that. Ah. Think about how the the fragrance of your wife yes. or girlfriend, whoever makes you feel. That's what Reverse I first that for her. Yes. I be loving that. I'm like, man, you be smelling. I be in the shower. Putting on her stuff. I'm like, she, she <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> See what this does over here. <laughs> See what's happening. But uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I can't put her stuff. I can't. I don't can't stand that slimy feel. But, but it be like it. Like I'll pull up. I, let's say I get to the house about five five minutes uh, after Angel. Mm. She don't you know got out of her truck, walked to the house. I don't pull up, and I still smell it outside. I'm like, let me make sure she yeah, you make sure these kids ain't home. Yeah, yeah let me See? go in here. And, Get something good because it be she be smelling good. Be putting you in the right spot. And she be telling me she be like, "Oh, you smell so good. You got dang I'm right." I'm good. getting some cologne today after we leave from here. You want me uh, take you to my spot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we are gonna go Let to me, my spot. Yeah. Let me get some Rafi's. So I can get lucky tonight. <laughs> uh, but back to the young ladies. Um, in my dating days, I came across a few young ladies that had an odor. Okay, yeah. women. Yeah, I didn't express what I found to, to all of the girls that I dealt with, but I did express it, I remember, to two of them, and they snapped on me, uh, said I was lying. One said, you lying, whatever. And I'm like, no, I'm, why yeah. would I lie about that? I'm yeah. trying to be honest with you. So, uh uh learn to take some uh criticism criticism uh because if a guy's telling you hey this has a smell i can smell it go get checked out it's it's absolutely yeah. fine because if you I tell mean, a guy that he's gonna be like oh yeah let me yeah if he cares if he got any sense i don't heard some men that don't care but when i was told hey you need to cut that i cut it and I kept it cut. <laughs> period. You got period. To, period. You got to take heed to what somebody's telling you, because um, another young lady, you could smell it through the clothes, the, the the jeans she had on, and it's like, hey, man, this is I can't. And it's like, who the hell? Blah, 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 blah. But I didn't tell these young ladies in front of people. I pulled them off to the side, or they were just chilling with me somewhere in private. Mm -hmm. And I let them know. And neither one accepted uh, yeah. the words I was, yeah. you know. Uh, so don't be, yeah. 
the vagina is a wonderful thing and it's a comp it's 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 crazy y'all have to keep it up it's just so much going on down there that i have no idea what's going on um He's like, I just know I'm trying to get it in my That's bed. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, learned it from the love hour. It wasn't until the 1990s that they literally started doing studies on the clitoris. Mm. 1990s. They started doing studies on the clitoris. How you... What? Yeah, you go out here studying the ocean and space. And you ain't and know... You they ain't. don't know nothing about the... So, what I'm saying is... Men, see, y'all got the, go ahead. Men is running these things. Yeah, you worried about everything else except for the most important thing that you could be worried about yeah. is the clearance. I would have been st- <laughs> my bad. Go been ahead. One AD. What's the what's the first year? Yeah, it's before Christ. One BC. Uh, AD. What's, yeah, what's one this, AD. Yeah. What's this year? Yeah. <laughs> we need to find what's this yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's <laughs> see what's going on. She seemed to like when I said. <laughs> Dang. Can we put all this up? Dang, we can put all of it. <laughs> we ain't saying nothing we ain't supposed to say. Uh, but take criticism. If your friends are telling you, if you s- smell something, go to the doctor. Get it checked out. I know it's embarrassing. I mean, obviously it's embarrassing, but it is what it is. Y'all have, what I'm saying is, whatever's going on with you, is 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 um uh, it's complicated everybody doesn't know exactly how the vagina works so going to the doctor and saying hey this is happening the doctor's going to be like you have um uh, a vagina and it's a complicated thing let me show you you didn't you probably didn't know about this you probably didn't know about that because they don't teach nobody about how to take care of the vagina except for the mamas and grandmamas yeah and and some of the things they do aren't the yeah. right things but yes the thing I, uh yeah like uh I that, mean, like that, i said we not women but they that douche thing yeah that, yeah they ain't supposed to be doing that you ain't supposed to and be they doing did that. they spent what they did that for 20 years before oh, they realized that they hung up right there on the shower head in yeah. grandma uh shower yeah they did that for 20 years before they realize you ain't supposed to be doing that. Yeah. Something. But, so, uh, don't be ashamed of it. Yeah. Go get it checked out, please. Yeah, it was time. The times that I was with a young lady or two that had an older that I could, it was already too, it was too late for me to say anything and it not be awkward. Mm. So, I ended up just backing out of the whole situation. Twice, I ended up just backing out <laughs> of the situation. You know what? You know, let's just slow down. <laughs> But I couldn't right. bring myself to, I didn't know how to, you know what I'm saying, to, to say anything. I was just like, yeah, yeah, Man, no. it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. That It's it's really hard to tell somebody that. Um, I think I was able to do it because it was later on and, and uh, I was older. And I was just like, eh, let me. And then your boy Kevin Gates came out. And he was saying, hey, man, you got to tell the girl what's going on, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to tell them the same. Yeah, she ain't going to be expecting that. What you put that on my nose for? <laughs> <laughs> you smell that? Yeah. <laughs> so just, yeah, men, tell the women. Obviously, do it respectfully. Tell them. Let them know what's happening or you know, hey, I smell this. It's off-putting. Let's get it checked out. I yeah, go with and you. Make sure she uh, and make sure you listen to her words when you, if, if she yeah. come off. And when she say, "Fellas, listen." Yeah. All right, get clean, stay clean. Mm-hmm. If you ain't clean, I, I look at it like this: if if you don't ever get a compliment about, because women like things that smell good. That's why you give them flowers. That's why you. They like perfumes. If you, they like can. I like candles too, but they like candles, potpourri, mm. everything I just named off. People consider that oh, those are women type things. That's because they smell good. Yeah. If you can't get a compliment or rarely get a compliment or don't ever get a compliment about how good you smell, then you don't probably don't smell good, because women like that. All right. That's yeah, we ain't gonna say that's true, but okay. You don't think that's true? Uh. Depending on the environment, then if they're if they're around women, or if 
if if they're socialists, probably, you know, if you're going to parties or going to functions. I'm just saying in general in life, like, you're going to walk past somebody that's going to be like, oh, that smells good. Or somebody that you know, what, what fragrance? That smells good. Goose don't smell good, apparently. I'm just, <laughs> I, I've gotten it, but I'm thinking like every dude walking around ain't no, like. I ain't saying every dude. I said, but if see, any dude, if he's walking around and ain't never got a compliment uh-huh. about how good he smells, <laughs> then he ain't smelling good. <laughs> As a dude like, hey, I'm 50 hey, years old. Yeah, I never exactly. Got a <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you stank, play bye. I ain't gonna it's, say you stink, but you don't smell good. Yeah. You need to be putting out some kind of a fragrance or odor. That's what's something. Up. You probably stink. <laughs> I don't know. I got that from my daddy. My daddy, he, I smelled his cologne leaving out for work every day. Oh man. Uh, people would compliment him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I heard people when I was a kid. I heard people say, "Oh, you smell good, Nate. Oh, thank you. You ever got a compliment? No, nah, man. You stink, that boy. Yeah, you stink, boo, little you boy. Stank, little boo. You stink. Because you stink. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> Uh, hey, this, 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 this was the episode. <laughs> we didn't know where we was going with this. Uh, <laughs> but he said hygiene. I said yes. Hygiene, We need to man. let these so, dudes know. I can, well, speaking on the women's part, I can't. I don't know. I can't really speak on it. But fellas, you ain't got no excuse. Yeah, I would. Uh, with the with the women's situation, obviously, the only thing I can talk about is that because yeah. that's the only thing I, I've ever dealt with. So, uh, but I do want to say. Um, don't be afraid. Get it checked out. Could be just some. I don't know. I don't know what could cause it. Um, but just be open when somebody uh, tells you. Men, don't be afraid to tell the young ladies. All right, cool. And floss your teeth, brush your teeth and your tongue five times a day, as much as possible, <laughs> so you don't be walking around here with the yuck mouth. All right. And use some decent deodorant. And oh yeah, I didn't man. mention this. <laughs> Shave your armpits, man. Your armpits not being shaved, the hair is gonna hold older. And when you I don't shave my arm. When you don't? No. When they're groomed? Are they just like cause if I don't shave mine? You hairier than most people. My hair would reach this. Oh no, my hair don't grow it only grows a certain length. Oh, okay. All right. Well that's what I'm saying. Don't keep be putting it, your personal stuff on everybody. Keep, <laughs> <laughs> keep yourself groomed then. Yeah. Trim trim your underarm hairs. I'm just saying, wherever there's hair is gonna hold older. If the, so yeah, if the hair ain't clean. Yeah. So you got to clean that hair. Yeah, yeah. Do that, man. Uh, I'm trying to make sure because I don't you want to it all. We need, we need to go see here. Ralphie so you can get okay. some. <laughs> Clean your booties with a different rag. All right, y'all. Because he's going to keep saying it. Hey, we hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Learn something. Maybe you can send this to somebody Ooh. that needs to smell better. Let us know in the comments below. What do y'all do for hygiene? Or what's some horror stories or glory stories you got mm. about smelling good? Or no, somebody not smelling that great. Yeah. I am Marcus Tanksley. You can find me on Instagram at Marcus and on the gram at Facebook. Marcus ain't on the book. Uh, you can find me uh, my beard and body butter called Man Shit. That also it actually is fragrant list. However, the products that I use, it gives it a uh, good, nice fragrance to it. Um, I ain't came out with the scent, uh, scented version yet. Anyway, make sure y'all check it out at M A N S H Y T. That's manshit.com. And also, last thing, make sure y'all check out Crafts and Cocktails on That Chick Angel TV and on the uh, Kev on Stage Studio app. They got episodes that go up on different episodes that go up on each platform, but make sure y'all check it out. Crafts and cocktails, it's hilarious. It's a good time. Make season sure y'all check two, it out. right? Yeah, season two. They on the second season. season. Cool. You can find your boy Goosby at G O O L Z B Y on Instagram. You can buy my merch at underreptmerch.com. And uh, there was something else. Oh, trim your fingernails. And your toenails. Yeah, keep your fingernails clean. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. We worked with our hands. We ain't never had dirty fingernails. Yeah. Okay. Do yeah. Outside Just of working. Sure. You're working against Make sure dirty. you do that. Anyway, fam, y'all have a good one. We're gonna go see Rafi. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hit the mic. I said it's on. <laughs>